Hey, I unboxed uh, Nerd Miner 2 on the last video, and we're going to take a look at it. And I just did my research on all it is and what it does, hopefully. Okay, so what this does is it mines Bitcoin. So what it does is just it looks for a random number, and if it's the correct number, you get Bitcoin. It's two, right now, at this price, it's two, you get $200,000 in US dollars in Bitcoin. Okay? So as the basics of it, okay? So this thing is really, really slow. There's other computers that are, does a, are faster and they mine a lot faster. So if you wanna do other computers, go buy those, okay? This one in two days has done 4,000 attempts, okay? And then four shares have been sub submitted to the Bitcoin hash rate or hash stuff. Hashing is how you look for random numbers for the Bitcoin, okay? So let's see. And if you want to know more about that, there's videos out there. So the back buttons, let's take a look at. This one, right on the left, resets it. So there it is, it's resetting. And then, let's see. If you have valid any blocks, that's when you found a Bitcoin or you help find the correct block to win the Bitcoin. If you want to say it's winning. But yeah. And then right buttons. Let's see. Change the screen. If I click it. Change the screen. And then it tells you the time. Okay. Which is what I'm mostly using it as. Okay. Let's see, and then the other button, click it again. It scrolls through the screen for you, so let's see. It tells you what is the fees, difficulty, current blocks, that's how many blocks is been attempted and has done, and then the global hash rate, that's, yeah, that's crazy. And then the price of Bitcoin, which is 600,000 right now, and it tells you the price of Bitcoin right now, and that is your hash rate, which is like nothing, okay? There's like supercomputers doing it all over the world. Okay, how to connect to this when you just turn it on, which is pretty easy. So this is the cool part, cool part about this is, it's plug and play. It's pretty much plug and play. So when you turn it on, it's there's a Wi-Fi signal being emitted. So you use your phone or computer, connect to it, and then you set up the Wi-Fi on it. It asks you for the Wi-Fi password, Wi-Fi channel, and then the Bitcoin. Okay, your Bitcoin address. That if you win, you, that's how you're gonna get paid. And then a time. Uh, like and subscribe if you can. And then also, there will be a Robin Hood link below if you need a Bitcoin address. And you get there's a five dollar to two hundred dollar chance of getting some stocks if you need some stocks also if you set up an account. Okay, let's see pros of this is plug and play as I said which is really cool so it's like what five minutes to set it up so yeah and you have a chance of playing okay pros the mines Bitcoin it's a clock so what does I technically use it for I need a clock so it's a $30 clock which I bought which I go to clock setting let's see Clock, there it is. There's a clock. I wish it was a bigger clock, okay? It tells you the price of Bitcoin, which is pretty cool. That's if you needed that. And you could win $200,000 in Bitcoin right now. Those are the pros. The con is $30. It's not really worth it for $30 unless you need a clock, okay? You probably won't win. You have a higher probability chance of getting a lottery, winning a lottery ticket. But the cool part about this is you're always playing, okay? That's the cool part. So I've, in like two days, I've submitted two um, numbers to the blockchain to see if, it, if we could win. I, I could win, okay? Let's see. I, the cons, you'll probably never win, okay? From this. The cool part is just plug and play into a USB power cable. Power bank, USB. Yeah, there it is. 
Okay. Other thing, I just wish I just plugged it back in and unplugged it. I wish it would just scroll through screens for you. Like every other 30 seconds, it goes to another screen. Okay, uh, let's see. What you can use this for is a nightlight. <laughs> Good enough. Okay, a clock. And also, if you want to get into like nerd terms, there's like other pools that you could connect to. I'm connected to public pool IO. So yeah. So that's it. Do you have any other questions or anything? Sorry. <laughs> Even I didn't know what this was and it was like I had to do all the research and stuff. I just unboxed it last video and I put a cardboard box, cardboard paper in the back to block the red light because it was I'm I'm putting this in front of my TV so I could use it as a clock. Okay. Because when it gets late, I need a clock and I don't have my phone. So yeah, that's it. Like and subscribe. Uh, there's a Robinhood account, or you could use your own account, Coinbase, if, to sign up for a Bitcoin address. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys.